Hey y'all, iRick Sky here. Now what I'm gonna demonstrate today is a flight using the iPod Touch. So this is just the iPod. iPod Touch is basically like an iPhone without a phone. So let me go ahead and turn everything on here and we'll get this show on the road. Letting everything sync up here, and then we'll get get airborne. I'll show you how well this works. This is great if you don't have a cell phone, or you don't want to purchase a cell phone plan, but you still want to have a very uh, a very vivid display for your uh, for your FPV. Now, you may have seen my other video where I use a seven-inch Android tablet. Uh, that works quite well as too, but sometimes you just want a little bit smaller profile on your on your remote and this is an easy way to do that it's actually smaller the iPod touch is actually smaller than the uh, than the iPhone not that the iPhone's too big by any means but see I'm getting into the app here and we'll we'll demonstrate how this works I'm just formatting my camera so I don't have any old videos on it, you know. So here we go. I've got my iPhone, uh, I'm sorry, iPod Touch. This is not a phone. You can see I can control the camera up and down on the DJI. And I can also use Ground Station. So we can pull this up. And you can see we've got uh, uh, we've got ground station functionality too, so that's pretty neat. I'm not going to use ground station for this flight. I'm just going to use the uh, the manual control. Now I'm setting my home point. I want to make sure that's set prior to flight. <laughs> so otherwise, you can encounter a uh, disastrous scenario. Also, making sure my Wi-Fi range extenders pointing towards craft and you'll be able to see the video from the Phantom itself as well but I wanted to provide this perspective because I know a lot of people are curious about how this how this actually works um, so now I'm going to start the recording by pushing the record button I've already got my settings to uh, 1080p 30 frames per second I'm going to start the uh, the Phantom's engine engines rather by doing that you can see the engines are spinning now and now we're going to ascend and again this is the this is the iPod touch the current model and you can find a link to it as well as the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus the waterproof and ruggedized case everything that I'm using here you can find that within the video's description but let's go ahead and have some fun and get airborne here I'm gonna bring this controller a little bit closer to you so you can see the uh, so you can see the screen that's one thing about the Retina that's so nice. That's the display that's built into this iPod, iPod Touch, and then also built into the uh, into the iPhone. Is that it's really clear, even when it's sunny out. You often don't have to use a sun hood, which is nice. So I'm back here now, and I can clearly see. There's there's sparse clouds today, but I can clearly see everything that's going on through the. Uh, uh, through the iPod Touch. Obviously, you want to maintain visual visual sight with your uh, visual line of sight, rather, with your craft, because sometimes there's things that you can that you can see with your eyes that you may not be able to see with the uh, camera. Because keep in mind, when you're filming this, you're not looking at this in a high definition 
perspective like you will when you download the video and uh, and play back the video so it's a little different animal I'm just flying around now I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but check out my other videos. I've got uh, several hundred phantom videos at the time of posting this, and I'm going to post a lot more. So be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube.com forward slash guy. And again, you can find a um, a link to all the equipment that I'm using within this video's description. So thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.